find the possible rational zeros. So we're going to use something called the rational zero theorem, which says that the possible rational zeros are going to be of the form factors of the last number over factors of the first number. So constant term over leading coefficient. So it's factors of 6 over factors of 3. It's always the last one over the first one, or the uh, constant term divided by the leading coefficient. So the factors of 6 are 1, 2, and 3. It's really important to include a plus or minus. And the reason is you can do something silly, right? You can say uh, 6 is negative 2 times negative 3. So you see that negative 2 and negative 3 are actually factors of 6. So always include the plus or minus. So we have plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3, and then plus or minus 6. So those are all of the factors of 6. Over, and then now we have the factors of 3. The factors of 3 are plus or minus 1, plus or minus 3. Okay, so now we have to divide carefully. And the way I do it is I just take each of these and divide it by these. So like 1 over 1, just go down the line. So 1 over 1 is 1, so plus or minus 1. Then 1 over 3 is 1 over 3. So I'm done with the 1. You see, you see 1 over 1 is 1. 1 over 3 is 1 over 3. Then you go to the next one, 2. 2 over 1 is 2. 2 over 3 is 2 over 3. And then you go to 3. 3 over 1 is 3. And here's where it gets fun. 3 over 3 is 1, but we already have it, so you don't write it again. Then you go to 6. 6 over 1 is 6. 6 over 3 is 2, but we already have it, so we don't write it again. And so these are the possible rational zeros. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world. Good luck.